Robin Langston. And I'm Pastor Robin Langston. We're so glad that you chose to be here today in our worship service. I'm telling you, it's going to be a dynamic time. Here at Word in Action, we believe that 2020 is the year of supernatural vision and provision. Have an expectation that any and everything you are in need of at this moment can become a reality through God's provision and by your faith that God can do it for you. I believe that, Apostle. We're embarking on a new decade, and I believe that the next 10 years will be a decade of blessings. Get ready, get ready. God is about to do an amazing work here today. The word is going to hit you right where you are. Have a vision for your new decade and watch God provide. You're getting me excited, Pastor Robin. Hold on to your seat belt. We're about to go into today's praise and worship. Remember, this is your year of supernatural vision and provision. New New clarity, new new focus, new new year. year. Let's go into praise and worship. Shout it to God with a voice of triumph. Shout it to God with a voice of triumph. He is worthy. Come on, stir up the atmosphere. Stir up the atmosphere with your praise. Stir up the atmosphere. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to give my God praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up, lift it up, lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up, hey, the Lord is good, and his mercy endure forever, come on Asia, let's go, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here we are to worship. Here we are to give God all the praise, the honor, and the glory. God is awesome. I pray that each and every last one of you have come into the moment of worship, of giving God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. God is so awesome. When you think about his goodness, when you think about his mercy, when you think about the Lord's tender care, how much he loves us, Pastor Robin, how much God has kept us, how much God has sustained us in spite of us. I don't know about you guys, but when I get into praise and worship, when I begin, you know, praise is so exciting for me, Pastor Rob, because when I begin to praise the Lord, you know, we be, the Bible says when praises go up, blessings come down. Mm -hmm. But there's something about worship. I agree. When you open your heart and allow God to come in. Hey, guys, make sure, again, blessed, blessed mornings. Welcome to Word and Action Christian Center. Uh, we are the great pastors. My name is Apostle Clarence Langston, and uh, this is my wife. Uh, Pastor Robin Langston, and we're the leaders of uh, one of the greatest churches this side of heaven, Word and Action Christian Center International. And I tell you, that was our great praise team that just led us into praise and worship along with Pastor Tiffany, Tiffany who gave us and led us into our welcome. And guys, I simply want you to do me a favor uh, before Pastor Robbins opens up with prayer and we dive into this word. I want you to simply start sharing. Yes. Hit the share button. I want you to be a part of this moment. I want you to comment, guys. Yeah. I want you to give hearts. I want you to give likes, thumbs up. Your likes and your hearts are your amen. We're in the cyber sanctuary, so we can't gather in the building. But the Bible says when we come together as touching and agreeing, Pastor Robin, the word says the Lord will be in the midst. The midst. Yes. And the Lord is with us here. I mean, I don't know about you guys, Pastor Robin, I can feel the presence of the Lord. And I tell you, wherever the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. Somebody needs to type that in right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. That's what kind of action and reaction we want. Pastor Robin and I, we believe in the energy and the synergy yes. of the word of God. And we're going to decree some things. And we want you to begin to speak those same uh, words that we decree in the comment box. Some of you, you can speak it in your home. Some of you can just give us a like, give us a heart. Means I'm in agreement with you, Apostle Langston, and decree that word. And again, right now, just to start decreeing where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Begin to type that in while you're sharing. Again, I want you to share, comment, and like. Let me say it again. Share. Start hitting the share button. The share button is the blue box in the lower left-hand corner. You're reaching out, Pastor Robin, letting somebody else know that we are here right on live. Word in Action is an incredible church. Absolutely. Absolutely. What he's Man. saying is be an active participant. Yes. This is your opportunity. This is as easy as it gets, Woo. especially in the virtual world. Wow. So now instead of having to call and pick up, just hit that share button yes. and you're inviting every single person on your friend list to come in and to worship with you and to get the experience that you're getting. Honey, I'm excited about it. Yes, I know. I absolutely. am. There's a spirit of excitement 
um, here. Now, I pray that you guys are experiencing it across the airways. I know that many of you all are. I can hear people shouting and dancing in their living room wherever you're hearing this word of God. Uh, we are true believers of the word. And so this month, we just crossed over into the month of November. Right. See, nobody, yeah. nobody can handcuff time. Time is always moving. And so Psalms uh, 100, uh, 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 I mean, Psalms 37, 23 says, the steps, Pastor Robin, of the righteous have been ordered of the Lord. Yes. And so I'm thankful that you're tuning in right now. We know that God is about to do something incredible. And again, we're teaching for the month of November. We're coming into Thanksgiving. Can you believe, guys, literally in three and a half weeks, Goodness. it's going to be yes. Thanksgiving. We just came out of harvest. Notice harvest follows after Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Right. According to the Jewish calendars, the first of the year is, represents the beginning when God created the beginning. Then we came into Yom Kippur, day of repentance, right. 10 days of awe. Then we crossed over into harvest. And now we're coming into Thanksgiving where we're being grateful for the harvest that we had. Yes. Has God blessed you? Has God sustained you? Did you wake up this morning? God blessed you. Is God sustaining you financially, resourcefully? with food, no matter how it's coming, God is the one that's doing it. Yes. So you have to have a heart of thanksgiving. And we're going to talk about it today. We're going to dive in the word of God. And I want you to know, guys, I want to, I want to wet your whistle a little bit before Pastor Robin uh, prays. I want you to hear, I know we're talking about today, the power of thanksgiving, but I want to show you what God put on my heart that we're going to really be hitting today. And the topic that we're really going to hit today is this. Those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. Oh, let me say it again. You need to type that in. Those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. What does that mean? Whatever they're planning on a believer, as you continue to praise God and believe God and give him thanksgiving, what the enemy means for evil, God is going to turn it around. No matter who he's using, the same grave they're digging for you, you're going to be able to put a praise on it because they're really digging it for themselves. Somebody needs to give me some likes. I'm telling you, you don't want to share this. It's going to be powerful. Pastor Robin, open up with prayer, please. Gracious Heavenly Father, we love you, Lord. Yes. We magnify your name, Lord. We know that there is none like you. Father, none. we invite you into the service today. We say, Lord, have your way. Yes. Use us as your vessels, Lord God. Deliver your word through us so that your people can be reached, so that they can be saved, so that they can be healed, delivered, and set free. We bind up any contrary forces uh, that will try to come against the service. But instead, Lord God, we thank you yes. that we will be increased, we will be edified, and we will be changed. Father, have your way in this place today. Ish, Lord God, we yield to you as your vessels. And Lord, we will give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' matchless in name, we, Jesus pray. name Amen. we pray. Amen. I want us to dive right into the word of God. I want us to start. We're going to start off in Daniel chapter 6. I want us to go to Daniel uh, chapter 6. Uh, we're going to be reading out of the King James Version of the Word today, and I'm going to, I'm going to minister uh, what the Lord has placed on my heart. God has given me a word uh, to decree and declare across these airways, and I want you to have a spirit of expectation because God is about to do something incredible for you. See, that's a moment right there when we comment in the comment box that God is about to do something incredible for me. Begin to decree and declare it because we're setting up the atmosphere when we begin to praise God, when we begin to decree and declare his word, it creates an energy. And when we do it together, it creates a synergy. The Bible says one believer has the ability that when we give God thanksgiving and when we give God praise, Pastor Robin, one of us has the power to put a thousand demonic spirits right. to flight. But when we come together as touching and agreeing, right. Just two of us have the ability to lean on each other in the spirit yes. and put 10,000 demonic spirits to, to flight. Can you imagine corporately what's about to happen right, right now? I want to say that again. Can you imagine corporately what's about to happen right now? The enemy is about to destroy the works of the enemy that is plotting through others against you as a believer. Right. As a child of God, you need to hear this declaration. You're coming out on top. I know you may be going through a situation, but you're coming out on top. I know people may be speaking ill of you, but you're coming out on top. I know people may be trying to damn your name, 
but you, sister, brother, daughter, son, in Christ, you're coming out on top. Start typing that in the comment box. Start decreeing that in your home. Start decreeing it, declaring it, whatever you are, because God is going to turn things to work in your favor, even in your career, everything you put your hands to do. And that's the power, Pastor Robin, of Thanksgiving. That's right. We're in the month of November, and we're about to dive in the book of Daniel, because I want you to see what God did for Daniel. All right, Pastor Robin, let's start reading chapter 6, uh, verse 4, please. Chapter 6, verse 4. So the governors and satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no charge or fault because he was faithful, nor was there any error or fault found in him. Then these men said, we shall not find any charge against this Daniel unless we find it against him concerning the law of his God. So these governors and satraps thronged before the king and said thus to him, King Darius, live forever. All the governors of the kingdom, the administrators, the satraps, the counselors and advisors have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree. All right, stop there for a moment. So we notice that they are setting Daniel up. Right. There's some people, you don't know who they are. They're plotting behind your back. They may be on your job. They may be in your family. You may be calling them a friend or an associate. They may attend your church. They may live in your own house. You don't know who the enemy may be using because the enemy deals with people through thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. I want somebody to catch that. The enemy deals with people through thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. I want somebody to catch that. Somebody type that in. Somebody decree that. The enemy deals with us through thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. He'll just give you a thought. He'll give you a negative thought. Um, he'll have, make somebody jealous of you. He'll make somebody envy you. And it can be somebody that you may be trying to bless, maybe somebody that you love. And you might not even know who they are. It doesn't matter. I want you to catch a hold of this. I told you the title of this message today that God gave me on early this morning. Those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. It means their works are going to be destroyed. What they're planning for you is going to backfire. Somebody needs to type in backfire. What they're plotting on you. Pastor Robin, what they're plotting on you. What they're plotting yes. on me. It's going to backfire yes. and it's going to turn and work up against them unless they repent. That's the power of Thanksgiving. Somebody needs to type that in. That's the power of Thanksgiving. So we're going to show you that these guys, they are plotting against Daniel. Daniel loves God. Daniel loves God. He worships God. He praises God. He's not a perfect man, but God considers a man or a woman who gives him thanksgiving, he considers you perfect. Oh, you better hear me. When you praise God and you remember that it's because of God that you move, because of God that you live, and because of God that you're still here, that touches God because as you praise him and you give him thanksgiving and adoration, it creates a synergy in your world to destroy the plot of the enemy. Woo, Jesus. So they're gathering together. Read on, Pastor Robin. Let's go back in. At verse 7, all the governors of the kingdom, the administrators and satraps, the counselors. The administrators are plotting. The governors are plotting. Right. All of these people who, who, who Daniel trusts, he's been around them. He right. works with them. Go ahead. They um, consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whoever petitions any God or man for 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing so that it cannot be changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which does not alter. Now think about this, Pastor Robin. They're not doing this uh, because it's a good idea no. or it's a creative idea so that they can build and establish uh, the king's kingdom. Right. They're doing it because they're jealous of Daniel. Maybe you got some haters and they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. And behind their back, behind your back, they're laughing at you. They're talking about you. Right. They're making ridicules about you. Well, I want you to hear the word of the apostle and the prophetess today because the Lord spoke to me and the Lord said for me to speak in you all's hearing as we teach on the power of thanksgiving that as you thank him today, 
as you praise him today, he says, those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. It's going to flip on them what they're working and plotting against you. And some of them, you think that they're your friends. And some of you, there's somebody tuning in right now and you're even dating somebody that's talking against you behind your back. There are people that's on this line right now that there are people that connect, that are connected to you that you love and you don't even know that they're plotting. Don't worry about it. When you praise God, when you give him thanksgiving, and Pastor Robin, that's the power of thanksgiving, that while you're thanking God, because you're thinking of him, God is thinking of you, and God hears your praises, and God is going to flip the script. Somebody type that in. God is flipping the script. Let me decree it again. God is flipping the, the script. You better come on and receive this word. Somebody needs to give me some more likes. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts. Make sure you're sharing it. Other people need to hear this word. People are going through, but I want somebody to hear this today. God is bringing you out. God is turning it around in your favor. Don't you worry about a thing, but what you need to do, put yourself in the posture of praise and worship with thanksgiving and adoration because God is turning it in your favor. They're plotting, Pastor Robin. Yes, That's they, crazy. Yes, they are, honey. I, I wow. love this word of the Lord because yeah. right before you said it, God had me write wow. it down. Really? God is going to flip the script. Wow. God is going to flip the script. Let that get, yes. Wow. Let that get deep down it's in flipping. your spirit. Yeah. And what's so good about it is, honey, I just wanted to mention that when we're giving God praise, when we're giving God his worship, when our conversation is on those things that are good, those things that are holy, those things that are righteous, it pulls us right. away from the negative conversation. It pulls us away from having the opportunity to talk about the situation, to belabor the situation, wow. to relive it over and over and over. Because it don't even matter, right? It doesn't. So God tells us while we're wow. doing that, while we're worshiping him, we're keeping our minds and our thoughts and our words on those things that are righteous, those yes. things that are godly. And that works for us as well, because remember, those things that we put out wow. there, it's what the word says, what we, we reap, what we sow. We reap so what we, we sow. So we want to be careful that wow. the words that we're speaking, the conversations that we're having are not words that are going to boomerang right. and yeah. come back around. Yeah, yeah, don't talk about, so what you're saying is don't talk about what your haters are doing. No. Don't talk about people plotting on you. Don't talk about no. the hardships that you're going through. It doesn't mean that you're not going through them. But right. what did we tell you? Uh, last month in the in in in, in uh, October that you're coming through it you're coming through it so God like you're saying Pastor Robin when we praise Him when we're magnifying Him we're not even acknowledging what the enemy is doing no. don't you acknowledge it don't no. you acknowledge your haters we just said earlier a moment ago that some of you have haters and you love them you don't even know that they're hating on you so this is the key you don't have to know who's hating on you or who's plotting on you for God to deliver you. Jesus, that's the power of praise. All right, I want to jump back in the scripture because it's so important uh, for us to find out what happened. They're plotting. Uh, matter of fact, sometimes when, when people plot, when the enemy uses people to plot on you, they will call other people to connect so that they can build a grouping against you, um, so that they can get people uh, to come against you together. People hate to be by themselves. Uh, right, they want allies. And so that's how it is in war, right? You yes. always look. Uh, for align your allies. Yourself. You align yourself with people who you feel connect with you. Right. But I want you all to know that as you praise God and as you thank God, God is in alignment with you. And it doesn't matter how many people are aligning themselves against right. you. God is going to cause you to be victorious as a praiser and someone who is always thanking him. And that's important to know. You have to put yourself in the posture. So let's see what happens um, as they plot against um, this great man who loves God. Verse nine, therefore King Darius signed the written decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home and in his upper room with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. Wait a minute. He prayed and did what? He, he got on his knees, he prayed and he gave thanks. He did what? He gave thanks. He prayed. I want you to notice what he did. Right. He positioned himself toward God. He got on his knees. It's a sign of humility. Right. When you get on your knees, you stop everything you're doing. And prayer means I'm acknowledging you, God. 
but the key that unlocked woo, the wrath of God against his haters, the key that unlocked the wrath of God, heaven opened up to swallow up his enemies. Woo, I want you to hear this. I want, but it's still played out. You have to understand there's some things that you're going to see play out, but as you thank God, it's not going to work out in their favor. It's going to play out, but it's not going to work out. Uh, in Isaiah 54, 17, it says, God says, no weapon that is formed against you or I shall prosper. It shall not prevail. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every diabolical spirit, over every voice that is speaking against me, speaking against my wife, my family, speaking against you, speaking against your family, speaking against any of our business, our finances, and we praise you, God. We thank you, God, because we know that God is King of kings and Lord of lords. And as long as God is our protector and God, you are our protector. Somebody needs to type that in. Lord, you are our protector. And God, we know you are turning all things to work in our favor. Come on, somebody begin to decree that. Put some thumbs up, put some hearts out. Begin to type that in. Some of you need to speak it in your home, speak it in your atmosphere and cause the spirit yes. of darkness to flee. We cancel the spirit of witchcraft. We cancel the spirit of manipulation. We come against the spirit of rebellion. We command and decree and declare that Satan's uh, assignment dries up in our lives. Again, we're ministering those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. Somebody type it in again. Those that are plotting on me shall be destroyed. Why? Because you are a praiser. You are a child of God. And as long as you bow the knee and as long as you pray and thank God, then there's no weapon that is formed. No Notice it formed. I want you to see they're plotting on Daniel. It's all right for him to plot. And it's going to look like it's working to them, but it's going to flip. I heard Pastor Robin say, Lord, just gave her a word. What was the word again God I'm gave sure. you? God's going to flip the script. God is going to flip the script. Somebody needs to type that in. God is going to flip the script. I want you to get encouraged. Somebody just needs to take a praise break right where you are. Start dancing in your home. Start shouting yes. in your car, wherever you may be. Start getting your praise on and start just saying, Father, I thank you. I thank you. I'm telling you guys, this month, we are teaching on the power of thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. No matter what you're going through, you're able to go through it and come out of it because God is with you. Now, let's give them a praise, all right? Now, look at this uh, verse of scripture. They're plotting. Uh, they're coming together. Uh, they believe because it's more of them that they're going to bring Daniel down. Go ahead and read that, Pastor Robin. Verse 11. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. And they went before the king and spoke concerning the king's decree. Have you not signed a decree that every man who petitions any God or man within 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, the thing is true, according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which does not alter. Wow, wait a minute, Pastor Robin. So what you're, what you're telling me here in scripture, it wasn't enough that they got other people to agree with them right. they got alliances as you just said but now they're taking the alliance to to the king okay. they want the king i mean they want it's amazing how sometimes you might not even realize it people don't just not like you sometimes people want to destroy you you better hear me yes. but i'm decreeing the word of the lord and the lord told me early this morning i'm telling you it, it had to be about 2 30 this morning when the Lord gave me this word and I wrote it down because I already had my message. It was already for the power of Thanksgiving. And then God said to me, yes, son, the power of Thanksgiving will destroy, will destroy the works of the enemy and destroy those that are plotting on you. And then God turned around and gave you a word and it was the same word. Right. The God is going to flip the script. God is going to flip the script. Go ahead and read. Let's see how God flips the script. Don't give in right now. The next chapter has already been fulfilled. 
and God says you win. Go ahead and read. So they answered and said before the king that Daniel, who is one of the captives from Judah, does not show due regard for you, O king, or for the decree that you sign, but makes his petition three times a day. Wow. And the king, when he heard these words, was greatly displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Now that's something. God will give you so much favor yes. that when somebody that they go to know that you're being plotted on will begin to pray for you. That's why I'm sharing this with you. God is going to begin to have other people that are connected to people that are plotting on you. God will give you favor even amongst their own grouping. God will give you favor even amongst their own alliance where somebody will not only pray for you, but they'll come and let you know that I'm with you, but I'm going to keep myself in alignment with them so that I can know what they're plotting. But I want you to understand it doesn't matter what they're plotting. I got a word 2.30 this morning. Lord gave it to me for me. Then he told me to minister it to you. You better come on and receive it. Somebody needs to type in, I receive this word today. Those that are plotting on me shall be destroyed. Type it in. Those that are plotting on me yes. shall be destroyed. Read. The, then these men approached the king and said to the king, Know, O king, that it is the law of the Medes and Persians that no decree or statute which the king establishes may be changed. So the king gave the command and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, Your God, whom you serve Woo. continually, he will deliver you. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den. Let, let me share something. God wants me to share this with you. That's why it's important for us to continually trust God, mm -hmm. continually pray to God, continually praise God, yes. continually give to God, continually stay connected through the tithe, continually seek first the kingdom of God. This is why you're going to see as Daniel has continually served God, the king just prophesied, well, he just ministered this, uh, Pastor Robin, right. back to Daniel. He said, Daniel, I've been watching you do this consistently and continually, right. I know your God is going to deliver you. And I'm here to tell you that your God is going to deliver you. I heard God this morning. Uh, Pastor Robin, Prophetess Robin heard God this morning. We didn't even talk to each other about it because we already knew that the message that we were ministering today was the power of thanksgiving. Well, God gave both of us a revelation for what's happening right now in your life and our life to understand there's going to always be people plotting. But today you need to hear those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. Their works are going to be destroyed. Their lives are going to be destroyed. What they mean to happen to you is going to flip and happen on them. Let's read, Pastor Ron. Can I just yes. jump in quickly and say, what's so important to pay attention to, though, is the faithfulness of Daniel. Wow. There was something that touched the heart of the king That's right. to have that compassion yeah. towards him. Yeah. Because if he had just been any old body doing any old thing, mm -hmm. the king would not have taken notice of him in that manner. So just a religious person or somebody doing out of tradition. Right. But he had fervor. Exactly. Wow. And he, he was faithful with it. And it said yeah. also... When they looked to him and they were trying to scrutinize his life, they could find no wow. fault. So they had to dig deeper. Wow. So that's why when they came back, the king was like, okay, I'll sign this decree. But when they came back to him, it touched him. And he yeah. was mad at himself for wow. allowing them to influence him that way to against a, this good man. To be a part of the airline. Exactly. It convicted him. It convicted wow. him. Wow. So then he <laughs> turned, powerful. God touched his heart yeah. for him to be able to stand in agreement with Daniel. And it's interesting to me that as Daniel was going into the den, the king stops and says, the guy whom you serve. Woo, the, the guy, guy whom you serve. Wow. To, He's going to want, be the one that brings you out of it, even though the king did not believe in his God. Decree that to somebody, the God you've been faithful to. That is the God. Wow. The God you serve. Wow. The God you serve is going to yes. bring you out. Continually. And God, but God is looking for our faithfulness. Yes. He's looking to see those who won't waver. I remember, you know, when you're younger and you see somebody, there'll be a little person who's being bullied all the time. And then one day they have an alliance. They get their big brother or sister that comes to school with them. The person who wow. had been cowering before now feels a level of boldness yeah. and strength because they realize who has somebody Woo! there that Come has on. their back. Come well, on. I want you to have that yes. same level of conviction and strength and say, you know what? The enemy might have been punking you. Other people wow. might have been being 
punking you, being used of the enemy. And now you understand and recognize that God has your back. Woo! There is nothing that nothing. they can do to you. There is nothing that they can bring to you that God cannot rebut and God will That's increase right. you. The word of God tells us he will make those same people that have been doing wow. those things to you. The word promises as we stay faithful that God will prepare a table Flip before Come you on. in their That's presence. Right. So now they in their see. Face. Right. Wow. They see how blessed you are. So they counted you out. Yes. They they tell everybody you're coming down. They're telling everybody you're not going to mount anything. You're not going to become anything. And God says, you just keep on thanking me. Yes. You keep on praising me. Yes. And while you're doing that, I'm going to prepare a table. I want them to think you're going down. Right. I want them to think that, mm -hmm. that nothing good can come out of you. But you keep praising me now. And maybe what they're saying initially was right about you. But because I'm God. Woo! Because I'm your father, I'm going to turn it for your good. That's the power of Thanksgiving. That's right, honey. And God wants that situation yeah. and that person to be so little wow. in your mind that you just keep Ooh, doing come on. what you've been doing. God said, don't let that yeah. distraction hinder you from your progress. You, right. lose, you lose momentum when you take time to focus on things that are no. yeah. insignificant and petty. Instead, we need to focus on those things that are right. And God says, keep your eyes on me. Be That's busy nice. doing my business <laughs> and let me have it. He told us, vengeance Come on. is mine, says the Lord. Say it again. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Let him handle so, that. So notice the, notice, notice the statement, the declaration God gave us to decree in your hearing today. Those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. What is yeah. he saying? God said, vengeance is mine. I'm going to deal with it. I think about Moses, when Moses was leading the children of Israel, it was easy for a lot of people that he was leading to misjudge him. Right. And so his own brother and sister started plotting on him. God used him to deliver them, but they started plotting. And they thought to themselves, well, God can use us just like God uses Moses. Who does Moses think he is? Well, that was God set man. Yes. And so God judged them. Moses was doing the father's business and God had to tell Moses, listen, I'm about to destroy Aaron and Miriam. I'm, a, I'm literally going to kill them uh, because they're plotting against you. And Moses had to intercede right. because the relationship that God had was Mo with Moses was different than the relationship that he had with Aaron and Miriam. Right. But they thought, see, the enemy would deal with people through thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. They thought because they had the same God, they had the same position. God wants a relationship with all of us. But then God has set some in certain places because of their adoration, because of their prayer life, that's because right. of their thanksgiving. And that's why God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. That's why you want to be God's anointed. Yes. How do I get anointed by God, Apostle Langston? Praise him. Thank him consistently. As you think about him all the time, he's going to think about you all the time. And when people plot against you. See, Miriam and Aaron, they thought they we got God too. Right. We got a revelation too. Right. So, hey, we can do the same thing Moses did. They told the people of that. Yes. And so I want you to understand when you praise God, God has you marked. The Bible says that God marks the perfect man. So the king was saying about Daniel as they're about to take him into the lion's den. He said, Daniel, man, you've been consistently praising That's your God. Right. You've been consistently serving God. And now the king is prophesying to the prophet Daniel. That's He's right. saying, Hey, because you've been consistent, God's going to bring you out. Woo, Jesus. Do you hear what I'm saying today? Go ahead and read. We got to, oh man, we got to get there. We got to close this out. This is powerful. It is powerful. Wow. Verse 17. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signets of his lords, that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. Wow. Now the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting, and no musicians were brought before him. Also, his sleep went from him. Then the king rose, arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. So you're trying to tell me that that night, the king started praying for Daniel. He got no sleep. The king started fasting for Daniel. Yes. So you ready for this? Two people, no matter how many people plotted, two people are in agreement right now. That's right. Daniel is praying and the king is praying. Yes. We want you to know, guys, you may be praying, but Pastor Robin and I, we are praying for you. We are praying with you. And today, this service alone is the oh, shot by God. He caught the robo sheep. He summoned the robo shot. 
I feel the power of God. God is destroying it. Yeah. I see the hammer of God and that the hammer of God is bigger than the entire universe and it's in his hand. And I see as we're decreeing the word of God, it's coming down like God used David to bring down Goliath with a stone. It wasn't the stone that killed the giant in David's life. It was the power of God behind the stone. And I want you to know today that Prophetess Robin and I, we are not just speaking. We are not just preaching. We are not just teaching. We don't just have a revelation, but the glory, the kebab of God is upon our lives. And we are kingdom minded because we are kingdom people and we are decreeing and declaring yes. that the plot of the enemy and the plot of your haters, that not only is it destroyed, but it is annihilated. Yes. And what they're working against you and what they're plotting against you, we come in an agreement that it's going to turn yes. and it's going to work up against them. That was powerful. It was powerful, honey. God uses the king. Yes. They come in agreement in prayer. Right. And now there's more power. One can put a thousand. Right. Two, ten thousand. Now the king is in agreement and he's fasting. Woo! Somebody prayed for me. Took the time to yes. pray. Had me on their mind. God is, God has, why did God wake me up 2.30 this morning with that revelation for you? Because you're on the heartbeat of God. You're on the mind of God. Yes. And God wants you to know the power of thanksgiving. Go ahead, read, Pastor Robert. Woo! Jesus. Verse 19. Then the king arose very early in the morning and uh -huh. went in haste to the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. The king spoke, saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to Ooh. deliver you from the lions? Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his <laughs> angel and shut the lion's mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. He came out. They put him in the lion's den. Yes. He said, my God came, stop the lion, shut the mouth. Yes. I want you to hear this. Shut the mouth, the hand of God. Shut the mouth of the lion. Yes. So not only did he shut the mouth of the lion, in a moment, you're going to see God shut the mouth of the liars. Woo! God is about to shut the mouth of the liars. God is about to shut. Oh, Shabbat. Read on. My God. Because I was found innocent before him. And also, O oh king, I have done no wrong before you. Wow. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury, whatever, was found on him because he believed in his God. Because he believed God, because he praised God, yes. because he thanked God, nothing, not yes. a hair on his back not was touched, hair. nothing because of his praise life. Right. I want you to understand Isaiah 54 and 17 is real. No weapon that is formed against you. When you give God thanksgiving, yes. when you praise, you can't be a part of cliques. You can't be a part of alliances. If you are and you're being convicted now, repent. Don't harden your heart. Repent. And when you repent, true repentance, God will turn things in your favor. Right. This, if you are a person that is a part of a grouping, a part of an alliance, coming against other people, you're going to come down if you don't repent. This word is for us as the children of God. So with whichever side you're on, I want you to see both sides so you can make sure you make the right decision to be on the right side. Right. Woo, my God, go ahead and read. And the king gave the command and they brought those men who had accused Daniel and they cast uh -oh. them into the den of lions. Read that again. And the king gave the command Woo. and they brought those men who had accused Daniel. Wait a minute, read that again. Read it with and power. The, and the king gave the command Woo. and they brought those men who had accused Daniel. The and ones that are accusing you, yes. their turn is coming. Go ahead, read. And they cast them into the den of lions. And so the same den they wanted to put him in, they, the king is now putting them in. Right. And there's nobody to pray for them. Woo! They should have been friends with Daniel. Absolutely. They should have honored Daniel. The only reason Moses and Arian, they, uh, Aaron, uh, Miriam, they ended up getting killed later. But when Moses found out God was going to kill them, he interceded. He, he prayed. Did. Yep. You need a just man or woman of God in your life that'll pray for you. They, they, he prayed, and so God 
waited, but he killed them later. <laughs> they did ended up dying. And so here, there's nobody praying for these guys. They plotted, and now they're going into the same grave that they plotted for Daniel. They're now being put in it. Go ahead and read. But not just them. Let's see. It says them, their children, oh my God. and their wives. Oh, my God. Read that again. And they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. Read that again. And they cast them into Ooh. the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. Those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. I'm telling you, and if you're somebody plotting on somebody, just repent. Say, God, I, I, yes. I thought I was right. I had true intentions, but I see, God, you are the avenger. Let me stop it. Let me shut yes. my mouth. Let me shut down. Let me stay off of social media talking about people. Let me stop. Get off the phone talking about people against their back. I want to be the righteous. If you are in right standings with God, we put him first through our thanksgiving. We praise That's him. Right. We know that he has us. We don't have to fight our That's own right. battle. God has you. Somebody needs to type that in. God has you. Again, we're talking about those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. Read, Pastor Robert. And the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones wow. in pieces before they ever came to the bottom of the den. Wow. Then King Darius wrote to all peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men must tremble and fear Woo! before the God of Daniel. See, God is going to promote you. God, God did it with Joseph. His brothers plotted on him. Yes. God still brought Joseph out. Um, God, by the time God got through, he prepared a table yes. in the life of Joseph. Saul plotted against David. God destroyed Saul's kingdom and put David on the throne. The school of the prophets uh, uh, plotted against Elijah, and God caused them now have to serve his son, Elisha. God, uh, Pharaoh plotted against Moses. God destroyed Pharaoh's going to kill Moses' firstborn. God switched it and had all Pharaoh and all those that were connected in Egypt firstborn yes. uh, destroyed. Judas plotted on Jesus. Judas had to turn around and end up hanging himself. Those that are plotting on you and us shall be destroyed unless they repent. Come on, you need to praise God yes. right there. I want to close with Psalms 100, Pastor Robin. If you go to Psalms 100, I want to close with Psalms 100. I want you guys to understand the power of thanksgiving. Those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. Their work shall be destroyed. Their plans shall be destroyed. And they are going to reap it in their lives and their family lives unless they repent. Our desire is for them to repent, of course, and be right with God, because ultimately our fight is not against flesh and blood, it's against spirits and principalities, the rulers of darkness. But the rulers of darkness do use people that yield and they are going to be judged. God did not stop these lions uh, from destroying not only the lie that they plotted against Daniel, but God didn't stop the lions from breaking their bones from killing them, their yes. wives and their children, yes. and destroyed them. Your seed reaps what you sow. So this is why this is so important, guys, to understand the power of thanksgiving. Now, listen to Psalms 100. We're going to close with this scripture. I want you guys to get excited. I want you to get ready to be connected with God, even as we prepare our hearts in our praise and our thanksgiving. All right, go ahead. Start in verse 1. Let's read through verse 5. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Wow. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Know that the Lord, he is God. Know what? Know that the Lord, he is God. Know what? Know that the Lord, Woo! he is God. Yes. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Do what? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Do what, Pastor Robin? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yes. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Be what? Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is wow. everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. His truth endures to all generations. What a powerful word today. Yes. Listen, Daniel, when you look at this, guys, the governors, the priests, they all plotted against him. Just like with Joseph's 
brother did brothers did against him right. with Miriam and Aaron. See, they're always an alliance. You're going to always see uh, people will try to find a click to enforce whatever they believe, whatever they're saying, but they don't understand when you are a praiser. That's why you want to be a person that praise God and be in the posture of thanksgiving, because that's going to make you God's anointed. The presence yes. of God is going to come down upon you. And the word of God says, touch not my anointed and then do my prophets no harm. The ones that teach and preach the word of God to equip you like Pastor Robin and I are doing. He says, touch not the anointed, which are you, the praisers and those that's giving thanks. Then he says, touch not my prophets. Guys, as long as we keep thanking God, that's the power of thanksgiving. Right. As long as we keep thanking God, no enemy, no weapon, no hater, no plot yeah. that they are plotting. They may have some truths about you. Listen to what I'm saying. They may have some true intelligence on you. What they said to the king about Daniel was true, but, but the king had already signed a decree. They were telling the truth about Daniel, but God still flipped it because that was God's man. I'm telling you, man, woman, boy, girl, child of God. Come on, y'all. Give me some hearts. Give me some likes. Whoa, this is powerful. I feel the glory of God. God is turning it in your favor through the power of thanksgiving. Pastor Robin just read of uh, the book of Psalms and she was talking, the word of God was talking about how when we enter into his courts with thanksgiving and to his gates with praise and being thankful and remembering, yes. it is God who keeps us. It is God who sustains us. It is God who delivers us. Yes. It is God who heals us. There are some that's being delivered right now. Deliverance is happening in your house. I see the power of God arresting you. There's some people that are crying because you need to repent. Yes, go ahead, repent. God is going to heal you. God will heal you. God will heal your children. He'll heal your family because with every door you open up, they opened up a door and that door destroyed their whole family. We want to shut any door that's contrary to the will of God. And again, today, again, God woke me up at 2.30. I don't know what time he woke Pastor Robin up to give her the same word, but God told me, those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. And then what did God tell you? God's going to flip the script. God's going to flip the script. Same word. Same word. So God is turning it in our favor. Come on, somebody praise God. Well, I love God. Do you love God? I decree and declare no weapon that is formed against you is going to prosper. No weapon formed against you, your children, your finances, resources, anything containing you, your health. God's desire is that we prosper and be in good health. We're going to talk about that on Tuesday. I'm going to show you the word of God. Well, God says that himself. My desire for my children is to prosper and be in good health. So I speak good health to us all. Yes. I decree and declare I break the back of the devil. I break the back of voodooism. I break the back of black magic, white magic. I come against all witches and warlocks. I come against all demonic activity in the realm of the spirit. I even come against disobedient uh, children uh, that may be rebelling in your home, in my home, in our spiritual church, all around us. We break the back of the devil. Satan, we serve notice on you. Even as the devil got lifted up in heaven, he counted himself to be equal with God and God had to bring him down. I'm telling you, those that are plotting on you, those that are, are thinking that they're going to be greater than you, that they're going to dominate you, they are coming down in the name of Jesus. I release it under the anointing of the apostolic and the prophetic power, and we go right through it. We go right through it. We shatter it. Whoa, Shabbat. Hey, Shabbat. Rabasa. Woo, man, I feel the power of God. We shatter it. We shatter it. I hear it breaking like glass. Bleed, 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 bleed. See, glass, let me tell you what the mirror do. Mirror give a, a reflection, and that reflection can be a false reflection. It can be a true image, but it's not real, so it can't touch you. The enemy likes to put reflections in front of you as though that thing can touch you. It just shattered. I heard it like glass break. Yes. It just shattered. Listen, guys, I'm excited. Listen, it's time to give. Let's get ready to give, guys. Uh, it's time to give our tithe and offering. I want you guys to give your tithe. Well, give the Lord his tithe. Malachi 3, 6 through 10 says, bring all the tithe into the storehouse that there may be meat in God's house so we can take care of God's business. We're doing so much up at the campus. You're going to be so surprised in days to come. Make sure you get your tithe in. And so we need your seed because there's things that God wants us to do with the ministry. And in the natural, we cannot do it without money. Your seed today, this is the name of the seed. God gave it to me. Everybody needs to sow this. Some of you can sow a $200 seed. I'm coming in and coming with that word. Some of you can do a 120 seed. 
Uh, some of you can do a 50, whatever you can do, but sacrifice. It's a seed of thanksgiving. And this is what the seed of thanksgiving is going to do. God says, this seed is going to destroy the work of the enemy. Get a seed in the ground, connect to this moment. Um, minister, I mean, if you guys can put up uh, the ways of giving, I would appreciate it so people can see how uh, to get the tithe in, get those ways of giving in, in the name of Jesus. We want you uh, guys, you can see uh, how you can give and Pastor Robin to go over that, but I want you to get that seed. Make sure you give God his tithe, give him a love offering, but I want you to sow a seed that's over and above because this seed is going to destroy the work of the enemy seed. That means your seed, not don't take it from your tithe, your seed, that sacrificial seed is going over and above. This seed is for you and your family. And this seed brings you into agreement with the word that was just ministered. Let me say it again. Your seed is saying, I believe it. I receive it. You don't say that with nothing. You got to release something tangible. That's a sacrifice that connects to the moment. You heard Prophet Scott teach that on its harvest time on Thursday. That was powerful. When you release the heavens to open up, heavens in the all through the word of God, Pastor Robin, the heavens never open up until we get. That's right. Abraham was about to sacrifice his son, the heavens opened up. Abel gave a better offering than Cain, the heavens opened up. Right. As long as we're giving, there's an open heaven. You want an open portal, and this open portal. The Bible says this seed is going to destroy the work of the enemy. I'm coming to agreement with that word, Apostle Langston. I'm sowing my seed now. I'm getting my seed now, over and above, whatever you have. If $5 is all you have after you're giving your tithe, then you sow what God puts on your heart. But it must be a sacrifice, and God is going to do something supernatural and, and incredible. Man, this is powerful. Go ahead, Pastor Robin. She's going to share with you at this time the ways that you can give. First of all, you can go online to WIACC.com and hit the giving link. Secondly, you can go to Cash App and put in dollar sign word in action. Again, Cash App, dollar sign word in action. You can also go to text to give at 313-228-3830. Yes. When you get there, just text in the word give. They will send you a link. It just takes a couple of minutes. It's convenient and easy. Next, go to Givelify, type in Word in Action Christian Center. Again, Givelify, Word in Action Christian Center. And finally, you can go to paypal.me forward slash W-I-A-C-C. Again, paypal.me forward slash W-I-A-C-C. And for the seat of Thanksgiving, you can go to Apostles Cash App and put in dollar sign, Clarence Langston Jr. Again, dollar sign, Clarence Langston Jr. And if at any time you want to um, give to me personally, you can put in dollar sign, Robin Langston. And again, you can give to Apostle at Apple Pay and put in Clarence Langston. Listen, guys, let me tell you what God just spoke in my ear. I want you to hear the word of the Lord. Let me tell you what God just spoke in my ear. I don't even know anything about this. There's no way I could be thinking like this, Pastor Robin. The Lord just told me to tell you all that he just put a scrambler. You may not even know what a scrambler is. I'm going to describe it to you. God showed it to me. He put a scrambler on the voice of your enemy. That means whoever they're talking to, they're not going to be able to hear them clearly. God is scrambling it in the realm of the spirit. So when they're talking, it's going to sound like chatter. It's going to almost sound like an ignorant tongue, like they talk about the Holy Spirit being an ignorant tongue. He's scrambling the voice. Hey, he just gave me that. He's scrambling it. Guys, get that seed in the ground. Connect to the moment. Don't you miss out on the moment. Don't you miss out. Sow the seed. Get God's tithe in. God is about to do something incredible. Again, I close with this. We're teaching and talking about for the month of November, the power of thanksgiving. Pastor Robin just read our last scripture for the day, Psalms 100, 1 through 5. When we praise God, when we give God thanksgiving, when we honor him, he told me, he woke me up to this morning, those that are plotting on you shall be destroyed. Don't miss the moment. Sow something and don't just sow anything, but sow what you have. So if that's what you have, God is going, because what it's doing is connecting you to the moment. Don't be a spectator, be a participator. This word is coming to pass for those of you that believe it, 
those of you that receive it and those of you that connect to it. Watch and see what God is about to do. I'm excited for what God is about to do in Pastor Robin and I's life. I'm excited Word in Action, what God is about to do in Word in Action. God already showed me and told me what he's doing. I can't tell you everything, but this one thing God did tell me. He says, tell them I'm clearing out a pathway for victory. I'm clearing out a pathway to bring you into the promise. Isn't God awesome? God is Woo! so awesome. Honey. God's doing it for you guys. Yes, he is. We love you. Continue to get your tithe in. Uh, call that number at the bottom of the screen. They're going to put up for you. Get your tithe in. Get your love offering. And remember, guys, we do need you to tithe. A tithe is a tenth of all of your increase that God has given to you. It ties you to your relationship with heaven. Malachi chapter 3, 6 through 10 says that when we give God his tithe, it's God's, it's not ours. He'll make the rest expand. He'll blow it up. But he says he'll open up the window of heaven. When God opens up a window of heaven, it's really a portal. In the spirit world, there's portals. When you do what God tells you to do, it opens up a portal. And not only does it make room for what God wants to come down from heaven to get to you, that portal, when Daniel prayed, it opened up a portal and angels came down. Yes. Angels descend and ascend. So when that portal is open up, you want angels operating for you. So make sure you give God his tithe and then sow your seed, believing God for the harvest. Pastor Robin, this has been a powerful time. It has. It has, honey. Anything you want to share as we get ready to close out? I just want to remind, I just want to remind everybody first that this Friday is the pantry. So yes. make sure if you or, or someone you love or someone you know is in need, please don't hesitate to come out. We have our volunteers that are there, they've been diligently yes. gathering and packing. Uh -huh. The groceries will be available. They just pull around to the back of the church. They'll put them in their car and be on their way. But we don't want anybody to go without Nobody. in this season. Right. So please make sure you spread the word. They'll be there this Friday from 12 to 3, and the pantry will be open. Also, honey, what else do we have going on? And um, uh, we just had our uh, panel discussion, oh, our... This round table with the millennials it was powerful guys it was over the top our young people were blessed we have some great things coming up um at word in action uh god is doing so many tremendous things in the midst of the pandemic and the covid and so again i want to get that information i'm getting some things together i want to really impress upon you make sure you're taking your vitamins make sure you're taking care of your health the weather's shifting we were outside today and it was snowing. So, um, you know, they're saying COVID is on an on-time high again. Uh, make sure that you're furnishing your home with groceries and things that you know uh, that you need. Like I told you last time, there's nothing wrong with preparation, but make sure you're taking your vitamins, take your vitamin C, get some zinc, um, keep stock up on the vitamin C that you can drink just to have in your home. It builds up your immune system. So we look out for you mentally, spiritually, physically. Uh, we try to feed you. We try to help you in any way uh, that we can, both feels physically and naturally. And that's why we're always asking uh, you guys to give and to tithe and to sow at Word in Action because uh, we feed you so that we can take care of the campus, but also meet the needs of other people. I have freezers. I went through the freezers and refrigerators myself on this week, and they are stacked. They are packed. I thank God uh, for Minister Caprice and, and Pastor Joyce and those that go out and shop. They are shopping for you guys. We got food, food, food. And we've been doing this, uh, man, what, two years now yeah. um, consistently. And that's been part of the vision. So I'm excited about that. So anything you need, uh, come up to the church or anybody you know needs something, call them. All they have to do is pull around the back on uh, this Friday. They will put the groceries in the car, canned goods, uh, vegetables, sweets. I um, mean, they have all kinds of goodies. Um, so make sure that meat. you yeah, meet. And then if you're believing God for a job, if you're not working and you want to work, uh, call, let them know so I can know uh, not only what to pray for you, always look for things that are open so I can make sure that our people are connected, that our people have resources and finances. I believe in the word of God. When we decree and declare, God gives us favor uh, with God and with men. Also, any of you guys, man, what a powerful service. You want to give your life to Jesus. You heard the word. You said, man, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to give my life uh, to God. It's very simple. The Bible says when we uh, are desiring to open our hearts to God and to confess with our mouth and believe in our heart uh, that he is Lord and turn from our wicked ways, heaven will hear and heal our uh, land and God will receive us and his saving grace will bring us out of where we have been and bring us into this new life. So if that's you, you want to be saved, call that number. Uh, they'll have prayer 
uh, people that will just simply pray with you and you can receive all that God has for you in salvation. It only takes a minute because God has already done it. You're just now acknowledging him and receiving it. Maybe you're born again and you uh, need to repent. You heard the word today. You said, man, I didn't mean it. I didn't realize I was doing certain things that, but that you described me today, uh, apostle and pastor, and I just want to be right with God. You don't have to tell them what you want prayer for. You just tell them I'm calling for the prayer of repentance. You don't have to tell all your business. And so if one of those prayers, or if you want to join the ministry, no matter where you are in the world, uh, you can be a part of our cyber sanctuary. Simply call that number at the bottom of the screen. They are anointed and appointed by Pastor Robin and I to be there for you. We love you with the love of the Lord, and we look forward to seeing uh, God doing um, some great things in your life. With that said, guys, don't forget on this Tuesday coming up is the election. It is, honey. <laughs> I just wanted to chime in. Please don't be... Um confused by what you've been hearing your vote yeah. matters yes your vote does count don't allow this opportunity to have right. a voice in this upcoming election to pass you by it's huge huge and monumental on so many levels but it's not just the presidency that is at stake yes it is right. our seats in the senate it is putting judges in place yeah. it is just there are proposals on the ballot that matter i'm not sure if you know but there is a proposal on the ballot that could possibly depending on how you feel about it, it could it could infringe upon your constitutional rights right. they are asking you if the law enforcement should be able to tap into your electronic data without a warrant that's huge yeah. and to some people that's very overreaching but you still how, whether which you support means, it or you don't, right, you but, need to have but, a voice in which it. Which means they can they can tap your phone without you knowing it. They can look at they, your, your they can look right, at your all, records. Yeah, and go the records to see what, what you've done, who you've texted, who you've been, what you've been doing. You are. I really want you to be educated. You yeah. have two days. Spend today. Spend tomorrow. Educate your, educate yourself on what's going on. Sample ballots are yeah. online. You can look at it. You can be prepared. You can have your cheat sheet when you go in to the polls, but make sure that you know, and yes. make sure that you get out and exercise your right to vote. And remember guys, that there are things uh, that certain candidates believe in um, and they're gonna push their agenda. And so people vote for them because they believe in that agenda. Just like what Pastor Robin is saying, this is how bills are passed. Um, this is how policies are passed. So we wanna make sure that we're getting the people in um, that's going to bring the right policies. And again, they these people, they're not called to be preachers. They're not men of God, women of God. Uh, even if they're saved or Christians, uh, they are representing the public and the civil, uh, uh, the citizens of the United States of America. So you have right. to make sure um, that we're getting people in that are putting up bills and things that we believe in. I mean, you look around the city of Detroit and other places now, uh, these marijuana uh, clinics, Mm -hmm. And uh, stores are everywhere because that bill got passed and people who didn't believe in it didn't vote against it because they were not even paying attention to what was on the ballot. So uh, we just want to make sure you're paying attention that you're voting. It's not mm -hmm. enough. We pray and then we are part of the civilization that we're in. Uh, those guys that hated against Daniel, they're a part of government because right. God has always has prophets in the marketplace. And Daniel was a prophet that was a part of that political arena of that time. And, you know, I just want to mention this because I don't think that everybody knows this. You know, everybody was wondering what the big deal was with the um, Supreme Court justice that was recently um, placed on the court in Washington, D.C. This is a woman who was in her 40s. Once you are appointed yeah. to the Supreme Court, you don't run for reelection. You don't they don't revisit whether right. or not you deserve to be there. Once you're placed, you are placed for life. Yeah. If they live to want to be 100, they could stay on, she could be on the court for 50 years right. and influence the decisions that set the law for our country. So we don't get to go back. So it's important who's in the White House. Yeah. It's important who's in the Senate because these people, they take our concerns, they represent us there. Right. So like I said, it's bigger than just voting for the president. That's you right. have to look at the total picture and understand that we don't want to get to a place where we lose our vote or the values that you hold dear to yourself can be set aside and your children or grandchildren right. have to grow up in a society is very, diff very different from what you envision for I them. I was going to say, when you look at the civil rights leaders and like Dr. King and uh, we can go on um, uh, Rosa Parks and we can just go on and on. These people sacrificed 
uh, their time, their energy, and their life um, to stand up for civil rights uh, for African American people, but not just African American people, for all people, um, so that they are equal, that they are equal rights, equal counterparts. And we see, and many of you all might not even know it, right now in the judicial system, in the courts, and uh, they, you know, a lot of things are trying to be changed back. Mm -hmm. uh, things that they fought for um, uh, for African Americans, they're looking at trying to take um, certain things off the bill. So we need to know about that, and we need to make sure that we're not allowing those kind of people. Um, to get into office. And that's why it was so big for President Trump to get uh, this particular judge in. So whether he stays president or not, he's been trying to get all the candidates in that represents his agenda. So even after he's gone, uh, his affluence and influence is still moving. Yes. So we said all that to say, guys, make sure that you vote. Again, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're going, um, getting your physical, guys, as we go into this winter, um, get your physical, take care of your health. Uh, take some zinc, uh, make sure you're taking your multivitamins, make sure you're um, getting high C in vitamin your body, C. orange juice, vitamin C, mm -hmm. um, however you do that, build up your immune system, get your home in order. It's like I told you before, get some, maybe some extra groceries or, and water. Like uh, I told you last time, and some of you didn't do it, and then you were shocked. You went to the grocery stores, find it. wasn't no water, went to Sam's Club, it wasn't. So what is it going to hurt you? to stock up and be prepared. One thing about Pastor Robin and I, we watch for your soul, we watch for your mental health, your physical health, your family, we care. We wanna see you prosper. We wanna see you be blessed. We wanna see you be in good health. That is the will and the purpose of God. Yes. What a powerful word today. Yes, sir. Well, with that said, we love you guys uh, tremendously. Uh, we speak, decree and declare the word of the Lord concerning you again. If you need prayer for anything, uh, simply call that number. We have people that's waiting um, to hear from you. Uh, also, hey, we got a big day coming up. We are in November, two weeks from now, Pastor Robin's birthday. Well, listen, we want to celebrate her. We want to love on her. She is a wonderful woman of God, but not just a woman of God. Uh, you know, she teaches the word of God. Uh, she equips the believers, the sons and daughters of God with the word of God. She's an encourager. Uh, she's your cheerleader. Um, she's here for you to cover you, to bless you, and to surround you with the love of God. And she does that so well. Let's reward her. It's her birthday. Let's celebrate that day. I want everyone that will sacrifice a $200 seed or more, I want you to sacrifice. Put it aside. You say, Apostle, I can't do that, but I can do 100. I can do 50. Whatever you know you can do. But the Bible says, give double honor to those that labor and word and deed. I want to tell you guys, it waters us. When you guys did that for my birthday, Guys, it watered me. Uh, they'll tell you uh, sometimes I wait two or three weeks to open up my cards because I'm so watered from the celebration that I want to go through the cards and read them. I don't even look at what's in them yet. But then by the time I look at them and I see your sacrifice, it brings me to tears. It brings her to tears. So let's water her. Let's bless her. She's been giving out all year, guys. She's been here working with me, laboring. So even when we're not on here, we're laboring behind the scene. Let's reward her. Let's say blessed birthday to her. Uh, she's a great wife. If she wasn't, I wouldn't say it. She's a great mother, uh, naturally and spiritually. And she's a pastor. She's an elder. So we're going to reward them uh, according to the word of God in Jesus name on that day. And you can get your cards in leadership. You already know what you're doing. Make sure um, that you do it. Honor, uh, bless, love on her. Uh, and then with that said, uh, on her birthday, we're going to have a great celebration November the 15th. Um, you're going to be able to uh, bless her. I believe they're going to be doing a drive up. You can drive up, wave, blow your horns, wave at her. Um, it's going to be a great time. And then on that day, if you want to cash app her, you don't live here locally, you can go to her cash app. They're going to have her cash up on November uh, the 15th. Or if you want to start doing it the day before, two days before. It's however, where you don't trust yourself. Hey, give it when you get it. Um, and just market birthday gift to Pastor Robin. And so uh, we love you. With that said, we look uh, forward to that great day. And I have some other great announcements that's coming up that I'll tell you later. Um, but on Tuesday, make sure you connect us on Tuesday. Tell everybody uh, to tune in. We are having Transformation Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday is no longer going to be called Bible study, but it is our Transformation Tuesday where your life will be transformed. Make sure you vote on Tuesday. Get up early. If you haven't voted already, get out and vote. Make yourself count. If you don't vote, you don't have a right to have an opinion or an idea about anything 
after this election. Get your ballot in, make sure your vote, uh, your vote counts. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great time together. Thank you for your love. Thank you uh, for leading us, Lord God, to do your assignment, to speak your word uh, into the lives of your people. We thank you that uh, the plot of the enemy is being destroyed, has been destroyed. Thank you that every hater, Lord God, that has not repented is coming down in the authority of Jesus Christ. Thank you that no weapon is formed against any of us shall not prosper. And I thank you, Lord God, that we're coming into all that you have for us through and by the power of thanksgiving. Now, Lord God, I cut off the enemy. I cut off his tentacles. I cut off false relationships with people that are connected to us that really don't mean any of us any good. And Father God, I pray and decree that you reveal it to all of us, the reflection of the enemy, even if it's people around us, so that we can see and know, just like Jesus knew who Judas was, that we can know who our Judases are or who the enemy is using. Because everybody that the enemy uses is not a Judas, but they may be confused. So Father, we pray for them. We ask and decree and declare that they repent so they don't have to be destroyed so that they can come into all that you have for them now we denounce and we rebuke the spirit of backlash thank we all thank you that we're all covered with the blood of jesus that we're all blessed when we come and when we go in jesus name amen and amen, amen. well with that said we love you if you haven't got your tithe in make sure again guys get god's tithe in uh, we're doing great things at the campus and we need those resources so be obedient to God, and he's going to open up the window of heaven. Those of you who have given God a love offering, God, because I love you. Sometimes we forget to just say, God, I love you. Give a love offering. And then those of you that sowing that seed that destroy the works of the enemy, come in agreement with that word. Get it in, in Jesus' name. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We love you. Did I miss anything, babe? Yeah. All right. Have a great, great Sunday, and a bless the rest of your week. November is the month of Thanksgiving. Be blessed.